Welcome back to the base jumping diary. Uh, so last night I went through all my footage from uh, 2013 and uh, I was like, what the fuck? Seriously, I am so fucking lucky to have survived that year. I've had like three major fucking close calls in my base jumping life and all three of them were in 2013. Uh, and I was just looking at all footage and say it was just stupid, 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 stupid. It just didn't want to stop, you know. It's like, what the fuck is going on? But I survived and I can now tell you guys a bit about it and uh, hopefully some people will learn something and not be as stupid as I was. And uh, we're going right on. Probably one of my most famous jumps because it went pretty viral back, day, uh, back then. Um, the sled base, where I base jump with a sled. So, the story was, I was at home, fucking broke at that point. We were still shooting the, the, the documentary, so that paid all my base jumping trips, or they paid for me. But I was fucking broke and worked as a dishwasher. dishwasher. And then my buddy from the military, Daniel Hugo, called me and was like, Oh man, I just bought a car, you want to go on a trip? And I was like, fuck, I don't have any money. But he's like, fuck that, man. Let's just go to Lauterbrunnen for a few days. I was like, hmm. Fuck, why not? So... He picked me up early in the morning. We drive off in his uh, uh, 4,000 kroner, which is approximately $5 uh, Fiat Punto, uh, without any heat, with a fully crashed uh, windshield and everything, and just decide we're gonna drive those 15 hours in the middle of winter, it's January, all the way to Switzerland. Brilliant idea. Already then it was be like, what the fuck? But we like the adventure, we did it and we made it there. It was cold, but we made it there. And of course it's winter and I was like, hmm, I've always wanted to do a sled base. Rami once told me about uh, doing the sled base of Yellow Ocean, because the Yellow Ocean, the exit point is kind of like a, a slope that goes like this out into nothing. And then it's overhung, so it's a super safe exit. It's the safest exit in the valley. And there you have like a proper ramp, you know, so with a bit of snow you can take the sled and if you decide to lay on it, you will go out and go right into the track. If you sit on it, you will go out and you can turn yourself into the track. And I had done a lot of aerials at this point, so I was like, huh, why not? So uh, we got ourselves a sled and uh, went to the exit point the day after it had snowed heavy. The snow was super, super heavy and new. So there was no track there at all. We spent a bit of time on preparing a track and uh, kind of trained on some other slopes uh, where I was obviously not going over a cliff, over an edge. And um, we thought, we, we got this. This is fucking simple with my aerial experience and all that. <laughs> what can possibly go wrong? Uh, so full of confidence, we just fucking did it. Camera here, camera there, bup, bup, bup. this is going to be fucking cool. So as I start, the sled, or just before I reach the exit, the sled gets stuck on a branch, or like a, there's been a tree that which has been cut or something, so it kind of gets stuck, and I flip into it on the very edge. And uh, yes, Yellow Ocean is overhung, but you still have to give it a bit of a push. I kind of just rolled over the edge, and I was like literally this close to ripping my head off uh, off the cliffside there. But uh, yeah. Let's have a look at the video and you'll see that shit was fucking close and scary. But yeah, let's have a look. Gør det, mand! Bliver det spændende, om jeg håber, at jeg kommer lige ud, mand? 
<laughs> jeg var nervøs for min pilotskærm. Hvad er det så tilfælde, så får du et static line? Ja, det er det. Ja, der er det tilfælde, så dør du selvfølgelig. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yes! Looks scary from the outside, eh? And uh, you saw Daniel there, he was he was sure I was dead. He was sure he was gonna pick up my body. But let's have a, let's have a look at it from the inside, where you see my point of view and uh, how close the cliff actually is once I get over the edge there. So there you have it, uh, probably my closest call ever, or at least the top two. Uh, and within the next coming week, it's just gonna be close call and close call and close call, because I was fucking retarded. And I thought everything was under control, even though it's ne it never was under control like this right now. Uh, I was just too stupid to realize it. Well, I knew this was fucking stupid, but uh, in hindsight, I was like, what the fuck was I doing? But uh, yeah, the, the, the weeks from now on is just gonna keep being in this pace and fucking retarded uh, so as I said yeah I'm glad I survived 2013 uh, but uh, yeah point of the story is don't be a fucking retard yeah so okay thank you for watching and see you again next week for uh, oh for opening a new exit with Rami <laughs> all right see you next week <laughs>